Welcome to our Eucharistic celebration. We are on the fifth Sunday of Easter. Our Mass presider is Reverend Father Ed Fernandez, RCJ. Please stand and join the choir in singing the entrance song. and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Coming together as God's family, with confidence let us ask our Father's forgiveness for He is full of gentleness and compassion. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord, Lord God, God, Lamb, Lamb of God, God, Son of the Father, Father. you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, constantly accomplish the Paschal mystery within us, that those you were pleased to make new in ba holy baptism may under your protective care bear much fruit and come to the joys of life eternal. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated and listen to the word of God. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After Paul and Barnabas had proclaimed the good news to that city and made a considerable number of disciples, they returned to Lystra and to Iconium and to Antioch. They strengthened the spirits of the disciples and exhorted them to persevere in the faith, saying, it is necessary for us to undergo many hardships to enter the kingdom of God. They appointed elders for them in each church and with prayer and fasting, commended them to the Lord in whom they had put their faith. Then they traveled through Pisidia and reached Pamphylia. After proclaiming the word at Perga, they went down to Atalia. From there, they sailed to Antioch for they had been commended to the grace of God for the work they had now accomplished. And when they arrived, they called the church together and reported what God had done with them and how he had opened the door of faith to the Gentiles. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. 
Let them make known your might to the children of Adam and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages, and your dominion endures through all generations. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. A reading from the book of Revelation. Then I, John, saw a new heaven and a new earth. The former heaven and the former earth has passed away, and the sea was no more. I also saw the holy city, a new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Behold, God's dwelling is with the human race. He will dwell with them, and they will be his people. And God himself will always be with them as their God. He will wipe every tear from their eyes, and there shall be no more death or mourning, wailing or pain. For the old order has passed away. The one who sat on the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. When Judas had left them, Jesus said, Now is the Son of Man glorified, and God is glorified in Him. If God is glorified in Him, God will also glorify Him in Himself, and God will glorify Him at once. My children, I will be with you only a little while longer. I give you a new commandment, love one another as I have loved you so you also should love one another this is how all will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another the gospel of the Lord praise to you Lord Jesus Christ please be seated good afternoon to everyone um, kindly greet your seatmates good afternoon during the Second World War, in the rubbles, some people found a crucifix. Beautiful, very artistic. But there is a problem. No? Walang kamay yung crucifix. Sabi nila nako, eh baka natamaan ng bomba to, pero walang galus eh. Walang galus yung Jesus. So, ang ginawa nila, they tried to look for the artist in order to commission him to restore the crucifix. Nung nakita nila yung artist, sabi nila, oh, we will hire you, ah. We want you to restore this crucifix. Ibalik mo yung kamay. Gawan mo ng kamay. No? And the artist said, bakit ko gagawan ng kamay? Eh, nung ginawa ko yung krus na yan, talagang hindi ko nilagyan ng kamay. No? Ha? Bakit? Because I want to remind people, I want to remind people who will look at this crucifix that they are the hands of Christ to others. Amen? And this is the reality of our Christian life. 
we are the extensions, the longa manus, the extensions of the hands of Jesus to others. Yung inyong ginagawang paglilingkod ay ginagawa nyo sa ngalan ni Kristo. Don't do it for your namesake. Do, don't do it for your own credit. Do it for and in the name of Christ. And this is why Jesus said, no, yung, yun yung kanyang huling habilin. Alam niyo yung taong mamamatay, yung taong huling mamamatay po, yung kanyang huling habilin ay napakahalaga. Ano ba ang huling habilin ni Kristo sa atin? Magmahalan kayo. Love one another. He did not say, like one another. That's impossible. Do you like each other? Sometimes. But we cannot like everyone. Jesus said, love one another, not like one another. Because loving and liking are miles apart. Liking is superficial. Mababaw ang like eh. I like you. Usually it has some conditions attached. I like you because you're beautiful, maputi ka, no? ganda ng balat mo, parang labanos. Eh ngayon lang yun. Eh after many years, hindi na labanos ang palaya na. Kulubot na eh. No? E paano pa? Eh, hindi pa naman kumakain ng ampalaya. Mapait. No? I like you kasi ano eh. Ang ganda-ganda mong ngumiti. Close-up smile. Eh ngayon, close-up smile. Eh later on, lagas-lagas na yung ngipin. Paano pa? I like you kasi an ano eh, sexy ka eh. Coca-Cola body. After many years, ayun nga, Coca-Cola, Coke in can. O kaya 1.5. Matay tayo dyan, no? So, paano na? Alam ng Panginoon yan, no? Kaya, ayaw niya ng ating ugnayan ay nananatili lamang sa level ng liking. He wants us to level up and that is how it is to be truly human. That is how it is to be a real follower of Christ. Love. Sabi niya nga, this is how all will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. Yan po ang ating ID bilang Kristiyano. Hindi po yung baptismal certificate. Maraming tao may baptismal certificate pero yung asal, asal hayop. It's not about that piece of paper. It's about our love, our life characterized by love. Amen? So mga kapatid, yan po ang ating tawag. No? Yan po, lahat tayo. It's not, you want to follow Christ? You want to be a follower of Christ? Then, love. Sabi nga po ni St. Therese, kilala niyo si St. Therese? My vocation is to love. My vocation is to love. Ulitin nyo nga. That's your vocation, to love. If you don't love, then you're not fulfilling your vocation. Our vocation is to love. Now, how do we love? Loving is not feeling. Loving is not liking. Loving is not dependent on our moods. Loving, sabi ni Cristo, how should you love? Love one another as I have loved you. In the manner that Jesus loves us there on the cross. And how is Jesus' love for us? Unconditional. Parang kanta lang ni Ray Valera. Maging sino ka man. Parang kanta lang ni Billy Joel. I love you just the way you are. No need to change the color of your hair. I love you just the way you are. This is the love of Jesus for us. Until that humiliating experience on the cross. Sabi nga po ni Mother Teresa, Mother Teresa, kilala niyo si Mother Teresa? Pinsan ba yun ni St. Therese? O kapangalan lang, no? Sabi ni Mother Teresa, Love until it hurts. Ulitin niyo nga. One more time, with feelings. 
Pag hindi ka pa nasasaktan, baka hindi ka pa nagmamahal. Love until it hurts. And this is what Jesus had shown us on the cross. And this is the challenge for all of us today. To level up. Don't just go to the level of liking. Be who you really are. A human person, a Christian, capable of loving. And what is the measure of love? And I would like to end here. The measure of love is to love without measure. Amen? The measure of love is to love without measure. Level up. Let's all level up. Don't just stay on the level of liking. Go higher. Go deeper. Learn to love the way Jesus has loved us. Please stand. I believe in God. The Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us lift to God all our needs and our concerns and the needs and concerns of our community. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. <coughs> For the leaders of the church, may God's love strengthen and nourish them as they defend the sanctity of life and balance justice, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who do not believe in God or in Christ Jesus, may they recognize in the lives of Christians the spirit of the Lord's love and mercy, so that one day they too may gladly call on the true one God and the one Savior of the world, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For our newly elected national and local leaders, may the Lord give them health, grace, and wisdom so that they may become more responsible, accountable, and trustworthy in fulfilling their fresh mandate, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in special need, may the Lord heal the sick, comfort the suffering and the dying, give safety to travelers, and free those unjustly deprived of liberty, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For our nation, may we work in unity and peace to break the walls of division, to heal the wounds of indifference, and bring justice to the poor, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us lift to God our hearts made of stones and ask Him to change these hearts so that they may be capable of loving embracing people into our lives, loving even those who are unlikable. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, we ask all of this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Jesus. 
brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jesse, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, we, the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. But the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, <clears throat> hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy Give will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin 
and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold Jesus, our risen Lord, the Lamb of God, who takes away our sins and the sins of the world. Happy are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. For an orderly receiving of Holy Communion by Rose, please allow our ushers to guide you.
us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those who have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Everyone is invited to stay and join the feast that will follow right after the Mass. And in behalf of the entire Feast Bellevue PM family, we would like to thank our Mass presider, Reverend Father Ed Fernandez, RCJ, for celebrating the Holy Eucharist with us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. <laughs>